church in
Western Sunday School met with singing by class, scripture by Brandon Day. The attendance today was $31 with an offer of $23 and a balance of $222.62. Good morning. Certainly good to see each and every one out here at Crossroads uh, and also uh, welcome those on Facebook Live. Uh, we certainly welcome each and every one. If you're visiting, uh, we certainly pray a blessing over you while you're uh, attending or watching in on Facebook. Uh, a few announcements. Uh, um, next Sunday, don't forget, is Youth Sunday. So all the youth that can come come join us on Youth Sunday, uh, it being the fifth Sunday here at Crossroads. We encourage each and every one to come out. And remember Thursday night, the uh, Circle of Prayer. Also a uh, note that uh, Bible study on Wednesday nights will begin again in September, so uh, uh, keep an eye out for notices for that as well. Are there any other announcements? Mike, there's, uh, I have two announcements. One on the topic of Bible study. I want to try and start adult choir practice back um, before Bible study on those Wednesday nights. So um, I would encourage everybody that can, wants to, come out. And we'll have choir practice starting. I think we normally did it at 6.30, if I remember correctly, and then Bible study started at 7. So um, I'd like to get that started back up. And also our next youth uh, activity, or really the first one of this new church year, um, will be on the 12th of September. So that'll be the Sunday after Labor Day. And... Uh, Donnie and Marla have uh, graciously offered their pool again for us, uh, for the youth. You can look at it as the beginning of fall pool party or the end of summer pool party, however you want to look at it. It'll still be warm enough to get in. So, um, so that'll be the 12th of September. We'll have lunch. We'll have uh, choir practice after church lunch, and then we'll uh, go to their pool. So just keep those uh, things in your thoughts. Right, let's remember that. Mike, uh, Liberty Baptist Church has asked me to announce their 2021 Gospel Revival Concert. Uh, they'll have Karen Peck and New River, Children of the Promise, Deborah Perry, and the Jadens. And it is Saturday, September 11th at 6 o'clock. Tickets are $20 a piece or groups of 10 or more, I believe, or 15. Uh, bring your lawn chair. It's outside. I think, you know, kind of a... A lot of concessions and stuff, and all of their proceeds go to their youth. So, That's if true. anybody's interested, I don't mind being a liaison to get tickets if you need me to. Let's remember that and pass the word around. Any other announcements? Mike, for the Bible study, the email did go out about that with the dates and the, the subjects of each lesson. So, I just want to encourage anybody that's willing to teach one, um, and don't be afraid to if you've never done it before. Everybody can do it. So, please be willing to go online and sign up. Yes, certainly remember that. And it is a blessing to try to take that on, to study and prepare for that. I, I think I get more out of it when I do it than everybody else does listening to me. So, uh, encourage anybody uh, to join in on the Bible study. Any others? If not, if you'll stand, we'll take up this morning's offering. Please turn to page 98.
see each and every one of you that has made it out this way this morning. So thankful that you are here. The singing sounds wonderful this morning. We enjoyed a good Sunday school lesson. If you're not coming out and being a part of Sunday school, we invite you to come out and be a part of Sunday school. It's a good time in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to say on the Crossroads Baptist Church this morning how honored that I am to be able to be your pastor for this next upcoming year. Our hearts is humble. Uh, last Sunday when y'all come to the house and, and told us the good news um, that was going to be your pastor for this year. So I'm just looking forward to what the Lord Jesus Christ has in store for this next upcoming year. But the main thing always when we gather into the house of the Lord, if there's somebody here that never has accepted Jesus as their personal Savior, we hope and pray this is the good day, the good hour that you come and accept him before it's everlasting too late. Now, we have some letters that have uh, we have received, and we're going to ask Mike if he would stand up and read them for Chastity, Chloe, and Cheyenne this morning. Thank you, Mike, for that. We await your motion. Got a move and a second. All those in favor of this, let me know. I'm saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Same sign. And certainly this morning there would be none. So as Eddie has come up here and has got several songs or verses picked out for us this morning, <laughs> we're going to stand to our feet. We're going to ask these ladies to come around and stand out front out here and come around and give them the right hand a church fellowship this morning. Y'all come on. Let's all stand. Page 202. I
drive page 114. Like we don't have. You think I got enough songs here? Can you wing it? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is a I know. <laughs> you should see my car. <laughs> Thank the Lord. There it is. <laughs> God. 
Thank you, Kim and Wes and Darlene this morning. That was a wonderful, wonderful job this morning. And some of you this morning may have your Bibles, and if you do, you want to turn with us to some familiar scripture found out of 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter this morning. We're going to start reading about the 11th verse this morning. But we want to say this morning what an honor and privilege that it is to be able to stand for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on this Sunday morning. We don't feel like calling on anyone in particular to pray at this time, but we just trust that each and every one of you might just pray for just a little while. So this morning, I want to read this first verse, and then we're going to read some more, God being our helper, and I want to share a little thought that he's laid upon our hearts this morning. The Bible says, Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also you do. But this morning, if I had a little thought that I want to share with you this morning, it would simply be about giving encouragement. And we realize this morning, encouragement is something that when you support someone or you give them confidence or you share with them hope this morning. And I thought about how important that it is as you and I, as the body of Christ, as the church of a true and living God, not just here at Crossroads, but the church that's been saved and born again, that we're always giving encouragement to one another. I thought about this last past week, all the discouraging things that we see upon the news and the things that we hear about. It would be real easy as you and I, as human beings, as fleshly bodies that we are, to get discouraged. That's why it's important, I believe, for you and I to be such an encouragement to one another, to support one another, to give one another confidence and remind one another the hope that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. I thought about these scriptures that we read and you're hearing this morning. If you go back just a little bit, you'll see where the Bible begins to speak about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. It begins to speak on how that we know that Jesus is coming again someday. And I thought about you and I as we look out in the world that we live in today and we see the events that's going on, how we read in God's Word, and it begins, you and I, our minds wonder, could we be more close than we are to the Lord Jesus Christ coming back than ever before. Uh, yes, I believe uh, that we are. But the Bible also teaches me in the book of Revelations that when you see these things 
come to pass how to look up so you and I how today that's been saved and born again in the Lord Jesus Christ how let us be more encouraged how than we ever have been and share that encouragement how with one another I thought about how precious how that it is here at Crossroads how Baptist Church how the love that you have how for one another how the love that you can feel in the house of God and how encouraging how that you are to one another. I want to say unto you this morning how that's something, how why that you need to hold on to it something this morning, how why they never take for granted how comfort one another how like you do comfort one another how why with words of encouragement how with kind words how listen this morning and of what the Bible says in the twelfth verse, it says, And when and we beseech you, brethren, to know them of which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you how to know them that you labor with, how precious that it is, how the church family that you have, how precious how that it is to be in the family how of God this morning, how precious that it is, how that I believe that each and every one of us here this morning how we know a little about how I, each and every one how we know a little bit about the characteristics, the personalities uh, how I am the church but how important uh, that that is uh, how that we know each and every one listen, uh, how important that it is uh, how that we know the character and personalities uh, how that way we know how to help one another. I thought about how, how that my children, we love them so very much. Uh, uh, listen, I thought about Marla and I, uh, the children that we have. Uh, uh, listen, the daughter-in-law that we have. Uh, how our fiance, uh, that Dylan, uh, how I has a little grandson that we have. Uh, uh, but you know what? They all have uh, uh, different personalities and character. Uh, listen, uh, sometimes we have to uh, oh, I address them in different ways because um, of their character and personalities. That's the same way it is in the house of God. Uh, oh, why we realize those that's timid. How uh, we realize those that have a uh, oh, character. Why? Uh, why maybe of uh, being funny and you can go on and joke with them. Uh, but there's others that uh, take things seriously. Help us to recognize uh, those that we. Uh, labor with in the house of God uh, that we might know how to better uh, communicate with them uh, about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, while that it might go out uh, to a lost and dying world. Uh, the Bible says the 13th verse uh, uh, to esteem them very highly in, in love for their work's sake and be at peace uh, among yourselves. Uh, uh, listen, we know what the Bible says. Uh, uh, why about love, faith, hope? Uh, uh, why in charity the Bible speaks of? Uh, and the greatest of these is charity. And it speaks about that love. Uh, uh, love without love this morning. Morning, uh, uh, why we can do nothing and how can you uh, uh, say that this morning because the Bible teaches us uh, uh, that God is love uh, and everything that we do and everything uh, uh, that the church does uh, uh, let it be done in love esteeming uh, one another more uh, than ourselves but lifting one another up in love and uh, uh, lifting one another up in encouragement that we might uh, give someone one confidence uh, I thought about as they spoke uh, uh, just a while ago about how the Bible studies it's coming up and how uh, precious that it is to hear people uh, teach and hear them speak about uh, why the word of God uh, about how uh, that you and I uh, as God's people as church members uh, uh, we encourage those uh, uh, that step out on faith uh, uh, why to teach the word of God those uh, uh, why that came, how that come and lead the song service, those that come and sing songs, how I, whether it's solos, new ads, or whatever, how that we lift them up in prayer and encourage them.
them uh, for what they're doing. I uh, hold them high. Uh, why and esteem them? Uh, listen, the Bible says to be at peace among yourselves. Oh, help us always to be at peace among brothers and sisters in Christ. Listen, while we know who the author of confusion is, the Bible teaches us that that's old Satan. I'll assure you one thing. When a church is at peace, when a church is going in the direction that God intends it to go, oh Satan, he'll try his very very best uh, uh, why to interrupt that in any uh, way that he can uh, whether it's jealousy whether it's envy uh, towards one another uh, whether it's uh, someone having hard feelings uh, that they don't share with someone and get them worked out oh Satan will try to break that peace uh, among God's people uh, while the gospel might not be promoting the way that it needs to be uh, God help you and I around Crossroads Baptist Church when we pray and to pray for that peace among one another that we might be able to share of the love of the Lord Jesus Christ our community and to a lost and dying world and that when visitors come in to the house of God and they can feel that love and they can feel that peace and they can feel that unity that they might be encouraged in knowing that they're in the house of God and gathered together with God's people how that love them. I listen this morning. The Bible says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. I listen, warn the unruly. I listen this morning, those how that we know sometimes that may not be doing right. How uh, listen, how uh, we've all been there, we've all fell short of the glory of God. How uh, but when it says to uh, to warn them, how uh, why to speak to them, it doesn't say to judge them, it doesn't say how <coughs> uh, this morning to condemn them. The Bible teaches us how uh, that Jesus came, how uh, why to seek and save that which was lost. The world was already condemned. How uh, listen this morning, how uh, why to go to them and love. How oh, I to go to them that's not coming to church. It's not. How oh, I come into the house of God. How oh, to go to them in love that you might. How oh, I encourage them to come oh, to the house of God. How oh, I to see what's going on to be oh, with brothers and sisters in Christ. How oh, I help the feeble minded sometimes. How oh, I old Satan works on. How oh, I the minds of people. How oh, when they get down and out and they get confused. I will help those people from time to time when they fall. I will help them stand up when their mind's confused of the things of the world when it's entangled. Help them to see things. Why clearly that's all a part of the encouragement. Why giving the encouragement to one another help the weak. Why sometimes why the house of God why sometimes there's some why that's at faith and strong points in their life and then some oh, why they're at points where they're weak in the faith and some we can all change and we can be the ones that's weak in the faith and we can be the ones that's strong in the faith but help the weak help your brother and sister in Christ when you see them oh, why struggling be that encouragement that they're looking for I'll show you one thing the world that we live in today how they'll not find the encouragement in the world uh, but they'll find the encouragement uh, why through God's people uh, they'll find the encouraging words uh, uh, why they're looking for uh, through you and I uh, through each and every one of us the Bible says be patient towards all men listen this morning uh, let's just be honest about it uh, this morning that there's some things uh, uh, that you and I that we have no patience for uh, why if it's waiting in line at a restaurant, if it's waiting in line uh, why at a grocery store or wherever it's at, some things uh, uh, just try our patience uh, why if we'll admit this morning uh, some people are easy to get along with uh, than others sometimes uh, it takes patience, uh, uh, why more patience towards uh, uh, why others than it does some uh, uh, listen, that's okay uh, we're all made beautifully uh, why we have different characters and makeup, uh, uh, why the God has blessed
blessed us with. Uh, sometimes it takes more patience towards others uh, while it does some. Uh, listen, that's for you and I as God's people. Uh, that's why we need to recognize that. That's why, uh, why we need to lift up above the things of the world and recognize uh, why and let our patience work uh, uh, the faith that we have uh, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible teaches us that our patience uh, uh, be tried with fire. You may say sometimes, preacher, uh, you don't understand sometimes uh, the kind of patience that I have to have how wide my life. How uh, listen, but the Word of God teaches us uh, how to be patient towards all men. How uh, listen, I realize uh, in my low, weak, and feeble ways, how uh, while the church has to be patient with me. How uh, listen, I realize uh, in my low, weak, and feeble ways, how uh, while that I serve a God, how uh, while that knows me, how uh, that's very patient with me. He's patient with me. He's merciful. He shows his grace and mercy unto me uh, each and every day. And if God can do so, uh, so shall the church also. I should be able to do this unto all men and be an encouragement and show that patience. Uh, uh, listen this morning. The Bible says, See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and and to all men. In other words, if someone does something hurtful, uh, why to you? Uh, don't try to do something hurtful back. Uh, uh, why, unless the Bible te teaches us uh, uh, why the vengeance is of the Lord, uh, why he uh, why is in charge of all these things. Uh, uh, listen, he wants you and I uh, to forgive one another. He wants you and I uh, to love one another. Don't take uh, a one one hurtful action or something that's hurt your feelings uh, uh, while I'm trying to do something back. Uh, uh, that's not the way. Uh, that's not the Christian way. That's not the way uh, to gain membership in the house of God. Uh, that's not the way to keep people uh, coming into the house of God. Uh, but be loving and merciful. Be forgiving on uh, to one another. Uh, well, listen, I thought about how at the day and times that we live, uh, so many times we see people uh, that just walk around with a chip on their shoulder uh, just waiting for that chip to be knocked off uh, that they might respond uh, why in an angry way uh, there's no way to come into the house of God uh, that come in uh, why in the mindset of God and what he's done for you and I on the cross of Calvary uh, why in laying down his life and shedding his last blood uh, for their emissions of sin. Uh, listen this morning. The Bible teaches us. It says, Rejoice evermore. Uh, rejoice. Come into the house of God rejoicing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Come into the house of God excited. And you do crossroads about being here excited about serving the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, so many years ago, how why I realized how why it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands how why of a living God and preach the word of God. But I'll assure you one thing, how why it's a joyful thing how to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a joyful thing how why to serve people and serve a Crossroads Baptist Church. I rejoice in that. I listen this morning sometimes uh, when we just don't feel like uh, rejoicing, uh, rejoice anyway and praise the Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what's going on in your life, sometimes that's hard. Uh, sometimes that's something uh, that's easier said than done. Uh, but that's what God wants you and I to do. Uh, that's what he wants the world to see. Uh, that we're a joyful people. That we rejoice in the hope uh, that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that we serve a risen Savior that's not dead. Uh, but yet he's alive this morning and he lives inside of you and I. Uh, the Bible says pray without ceasing. I believe this morning uh, that I'm gathered together with the people uh, that your prayer warriors, uh, you pray for one another, you pray 
uh, for the church and I thank you for the prayers uh, that you pray for me uh, but ever continue in prayer ever continue in prayer for a lost and dying world ever continue in prayer uh, for the deacons of this church to give them the wisdom and the knowledge uh, how wide they be the leaders they need to be uh, pray for me continually uh, that I might be the pastor uh, why that crossroads I needs that God intends me a uh, why to be pray a uh, why for husbands and wives pray for our children a uh, pray for our grandchildren uh, listen that when uh, we leave this walk alive that round crossroads Baptist church uh, uh, why that the gospel still might go out oh uh, we're lost boys and girls men and women might know that Jesus uh, uh, died for their sins that he saves uh, uh, why their souls today continue uh, why in prayer pray without ceasing the Bible says in everything to give thanks this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you uh, listen it's hard to give thanks and everything, isn't it? But I'll assure you one thing. Uh, while the Word of God teaches us to do so, uh, listen this morning, sometimes uh, while those lessons in life uh, that come along, and sometimes uh, while we realize uh, while that God uh, was uh, giving us direction, these lessons uh, uh, they heard, and sometimes when situations come along in life uh, um, that we're faced with, uh, it's hard to praise God, isn't it? Uh, why well, it's hard to thank Him, uh, but I'll assure you of one thing uh, without God, you and I, uh, we have nothing. Uh, listen, without God, you and I, uh, while well, we're nothing today, uh, what we have to realize and know uh, that He's in in total control that he deserves all of our praise. He deserves all of our grateful heart. He deserves all of our thankfulness uh, well, for what he has blessed you and I with. Uh, he deserves our thankfulness for how he's blessed Crossroads Baptist Church down through the years and blessing us in this generation and pray that he'll bless us this next upcoming year. Uh, listen, the Bible says to quench not the spirit, despise not prophecies. Oh, that spirit today, how sweet and precious that it is. Uh, uh, quench not that spirit. Uh, listen, when we're in the house of God and the spirit moves upon you, I hope you feel free to worship him. I hope you feel free uh, why to shed tears if that's what you need to do. I hope you feel free uh, why to testify. I hope you feel free to go and tell someone that you love them. I hope you feel free if it's just a lift uh, Oh, uh, and shout on the top of your lungs, whatever it is. Uh, but quench not that spirit. Uh, despise not prophecies. Uh, uh, listen this morning and say, despise not. I believe the word of God of uh, the direction that it gives you. Despise not. Oh, uh, why these prophecies that we have in the word of God that teaches you and I, uh, that guides our lives, that gives you and I a direction. Oh, this morning. The Bible says, approve all things, hold fast to that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil, prove that which is good. Oh, this morning, we know how to do that this morning, don't we, church? While that which is good is that which is found in the word of God, that we're able to separate how uh, why good from bad. We're able to separate how uh, why sin in our lives today. Uh, there's a dividing line how uh, why that we have to look to and the Bible teaches us the word of God. It gives us uh, uh, those dividing lines that we might prove that uh, which is good. Abstain from evil. Uh, listen this morning uh, the things that we know that we shouldn't do the things and places we know that we shouldn't be. Abstain 
abstain from those places. Uh, uh, listen, Paul, uh, when he spoke to the Thessalonians there, he was speaking words of encouragement unto them uh, uh, while it might give them hope, uh, uh, while it might give them confidence to stand in the generation they're living in. I stand before you this morning uh, to give you encouragement, uh, while to give you confidence, church, to give you hope uh, uh, that we might stand on the Word of God and the generation that we're living in how the lost and dying world might know how that Jesus is not dead but he's alive and well and he's wanting to work and work in their lives and save their soul oh this morning church I believe Paul pinpointed how I, through the help of God how these words are in the word of God at the Thessalonians that they might be of healthy people healthy spiritual people do you understand uh, what I'm trying to speak unto you this morning uh, by the health of the church uh, the health of the church this morning uh, while we need to look at that uh, we need to look at it closely each and every Sunday and every week uh, that we might find ourselves uh, uh, while the healthy church that God wants us to in some of these scriptures that we've tried in our weak way to bring unto you this morning it's an encouragement unto you and I how why it teaches you and I how to treat one another it teaches you and I how to be found how to be a healthy church that the church might grow how that we might grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ how that we might see lost boys and girls how many women saved how giving encouragement Oh, that's what the Word of God, oh, well, that's what it's full of. Oh, that's what God, I believe, intends oh, for you and I, how to give that encouragement to continue, how to give encouragement to one another, how that we might find each other esteeming the other highly, how that we do ourselves. Oh, this morning, and what is this all for? It's for the Lord Jesus Christ. It's for his name's sake. It's for the work of the gospel today. It's for the work that he done on the cross of Calvary uh, where he shed his life's blood and died for their missions of sin and rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave on that third day that lost boys and girls, men and women, that they might come the saving grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. As Taylor comes with a song, and as Kim comes uh, to the piano this morning, if you're here on uh, the sound of our voice this morning and you never have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and the Lord is knocking upon your heart's door, oh, won't you come this morning and bow on the knees of your heart and ask the Lord Jesus Christ uh, how to save your soul if you're listening uh, by way of Facebook this morning. Oh, why Jesus is dealing with you and you feel that tug at your heart's door. Just bow right there where you're at and ask Jesus into your heart. The Bible says, I to believe with all thine heart and confess with thy mouth and thou shalt be saved. Oh, this morning as we stand to our feet and we sing a verse of this song, won't you come if the Lord is dealing with you this morning? What's your number, Taylor? this morning. Is anybody a word in any way? Dolly, I just want to thank the church for praying for my friend Bethany. She did pass away last Sunday. So, just remember her family if they bury her next weekend. Bless you, Kitty. Let's remember this family. I know that you've been praying. Just continue to pray. Anyone else this morning? Prayer request, testimony, anything? Dolly, I'd like the church to remember uh, Rodney Cassavary. She's still in a serious condition. Let's continue to remember Rodney. 
Anything else this morning? Church, we love you this morning. We appreciate you being an encouragement unto me this morning. And, and maybe even when we exit the church this morning, maybe if there's somebody that's been an encouragement to you, you might just want to tell them about it this morning. And maybe if you know somebody that needs a little bit of encouragement this morning, you might just want to go to them and tell them you're praying for them, you're thinking about them, whatever it is this morning. Anything else? All hearts and minds clear. <clears throat> Let's remember this. Nothing else this morning. We love you. Appreciate your prayerful attention. Appreciate you being here this morning. Andrew Grendel, how about dismissing us? Lord, we thank you for another chance you've given us to gather here in your house, God. We pray, Lord, as we go throughout this week, God, we take this message of encouragement, God. Use it in any way that we can, God, to lift, lift other people up and, and so that other people might be able to lift us up. It's a crazy world, God, and it's, a, it's tough if we don't have people to, to go with us and fight the fight with us. And we know that this church will lift each other up and go with each other anywhere that they're called to go, God. I pray, Lord, that we just find that encouragement in our life and be the one that encourages others as well at the same time, God. Go with us, Lord. Lead God and direct us. These things we ask in thy name.